In this video we're going to be talking about the mysterious hepatitis uh, autoimmune events that are happening in people all over the world and as to what might be causing this. My name is Dr. Mikhail Rashik and why mysterious is because this liver inflammation is caused without presence of hepatitis virus. So this virus is never isolated in these incidences so then the question is what is causing it and recently a paper finally came out that might help to address this. This hepatitis has especially been, been recorded in vaccinated individuals, so those who have been vaccinated with either mRNA or other vaccines, so this is across the board, but it's also been observed in COVID-19 patients who have been naturally infected. So that's a potential clue, right? Because basically, what is the commonality between vaccinated and unvaccinated groups? And that would be presence of the spike protein in, in the system. So here, what we might be observing for the first time is one of those long-term uh, adverse events, post-vaccinations for the first time, because finally enough time has elapsed to be able to see it, which has not been picked up in clinical trials. Luckily, this is rare, so do not panic that just because you've been vaccinated or just because you've been infected by COVID-19 COVID virus, uh, that uh, you're going to end up with hepatitis. No, it's rare, thank goodness. But let's see what these authors uh, were able to demonstrate. And what they did is basically they took a biopsy, liver biopsy, of someone who was vaccinated and ended up with hepatitis. And they were able to show that the biopsy liver was infiltrated heavily with cytotoxic killer T cells. So I've made a video on killer T cells before, check it out. And specifically what they were able to show is that those killer T cells were programmed to recognize, at least a portion of them, were programmed to recognize spike protein. So they were responding specifically to be able to bind spike protein antigen. Now, this does not mean that, there were, that that's what's happening inside the liver. It's not exactly known as to why these T cells would be present inside the liver biopsy. But basically, one idea is that this can happen without presence of antigen in the liver anyway, where killer T cells can infiltrate liver and cause inflammation. That's been observed before as well, even prior to pandemic. Another option is that perhaps there is a presence of a virus or protein in the liver although in this particular case they were not able to uh, isolate that at all in this in this patient sample and the final option and this is specifically why i wanted to make this video because this is an unusual concept i wanted to talk about is that perhaps there is antigen cross reactivity so what does that mean is basically you can build antibodies or t cells that are supposed to recognize specific antigen in this case it would be spike protein but instead these antibodies or killer t cells will recognize something else in your body that is naturally in your body and it will attack yourself so that has that concept has been known very for a long time that is referred to as immune enhancement but recently you might have heard another term for it that was coined fairly recently i believe during this pandemic and that is basically the author of, uh, who coined that term they refer to this as pathogenic priming so basically what we're talking about is when when uh, the virus purposely adopts a specific three-dimensional shape to cause the production of either antibodies or t-cell receptors to recognize it but then attack something in your body to compromise our immune systems and therefore allow the virus to be able to escape immune recognition so that's one of those one of those concepts remember in a previous video i talked about the idea that you can have bad antibodies and we specifically talked about antibody dependent enhancement so antibodies that can promote infection in this case we're also talking about other form of bad antibodies that could be not promoting infection per se directly but rather by creating antibodies that attack ourselves so causing autoimmunity and that can help the virus do its basically dirty tricks now another reason why i wanted to focus on hepatitis specifically in this video is because i want to take this opportunity to show you 
a structure of hepatitis virus because it's different than coronaviruses. So coronaviruses, they're, they are made uh, of a thin layer of fat, their surface, or lipids basically, but hepatitis virus, their envelope is made out of protein. Now, in my videos, I've been introducing these uh, great looking structures, three-dimensional structures of spike proteins. Uh, and we can get these beautiful images by doing a very specific scientific analysis. Basically, what you're doing is, what you need to do is shoot a high energy beam at whatever you're trying to analyze or another option is you shoot electron beam at whatever you analyze and the way either the energy beam or the electrons will bounce off of a molecule can give us the structure of that and that's how we can map down to the atomic level the atomic detail how we get three-dimensional structures of of proteins and uh, with the electrons, how they bounce off, this is the closest we can get to actual, what I call photographs of the virus. I've, seen, I've shown one previously for the coronavirus, but we, the, in this particular case, the authors the, did just that for the hepati hepatitis virus. And when you get these images, they look like nothing. They're just like, it looks like a, like a blurry mess. But in reality, that blurry mess is showing you different shadows and you can determine what the sh how deep those shadows are and computers can actually decipher three-dimensional structure of whatever photographs you're taking off that's exactly what these authors did and previously we've already known very detailed atomic structure of the hepatitis virus envelope protein itself so you can model that in and this way you can get a very very precise and beautifully rendered models of what the actual vi hepatitis virus envelope protein envelope looks like and i wanted to show you that because that's basically one of the ways how we're learning about these super super microscopic structures all right if you made it this far i wanted to let you know we have another covid q a event coming up and also the first 10 people who subscribe to our channel we're going to send you free tickets the link to the newsletter subscription is in the description below these are a lot of fun basically we take uh, the first uh, top questions from either youtube comments or emails and we are we are going to basically answer them and then subsequently it's open mic this is available for all levels so everyone is welcome don't worry, all questions are welcome. And if we cannot answer them, then basically we're going to look at what we can find out from science afterwards and we email that back to all the participants. Also, I wanted to let you know we have another event coming up. I linked up with two other experts. One of them w was a financial expert and the other one is a psychologist. And together we created what we refer to as, as holistic, proactive, well-being program so of course we're talking about financial well-being mental health well-being and physical well-being physical well-being from my angle is by looking at dna to determine what could be happening in the future based on genetic information if one is of course brave enough to look at that type of information and basically we created this program for employees of businesses to be to encourage people to come back to as normal and healthy lifestyle as possible basically we want to make sure that people can go back to normal healthy happy life and we think we have a, something unique here and if you're a business owner and would like to learn more about this and offer to your employees then please check it out the link is also in the description below and we're looking forward to seeing you there all right that's uh, if you like this information then hey you know how it works give us a like subscribe to the channel <laughs> subscribe to the channel leave a comment and uh, share the video that's a big one obviously because that's how we grow and we look forward to seeing you in the next installment bye everyone